Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Zencart, a free and open source online store management system based on PHP and MySQL on Ubuntu 15.10. Now before we go with the installation part and configuration part of Zencart on Ubuntu 15.10, let me first of all tell you more about Zencart. Zencart is user friendly, easy to manage e-commerce site management tool which is available freely under GNU GPL license version 2. It is platform independent and it is web based application which can run through any web browser once it's installed in a server. Zencart is developed by a group of like minded shop owners, programmers, designers and consultants that think e-commerce web design could be and should be done differently. And if we talk of some more features, its support is provided for numerous languages and currencies and is available freely for download under GNU license. So uh, the original author was Zen Ventures LLC. The developer is the Zencart development team and the latest stable release is version 1.5.5 which I will be demonstrating on this video. And operating system is cross-platform and the official website which I have already opened that is zen-cart.com. You can find more information and some of the popular features which I would like to highlight over here is that number one, localization is the most important feature in Zencart which is support of multiple tax rates, shipping methods methods, payment methods, currencies and languages. Number second, we can add unlimited number of products, categories and set attributes to them. Number three, Zencart has ability to integrate different payment modules including a custom module which is a very powerful feature. Number four, it helps to maintain good relationship between the shop owners and customers. Number five, gifts, coupons, shipping rate, shipping options, tax rate, tax zone can be easily configured with Zencart. Last but not the least, Zencart is pretty easy to install in almost any hosting server that supports PHP and MySQL. So which means it is a bit obvious that before we start with the installation part of uh, Zencart, we have to configure the LAMP stack onto our Ubuntu. So now let us not waste time and let us go to our uh, VMware workstation in which I have already installed Ubuntu 15.10, the latest version. And let us start with the configuration part and the installation part of Zencart. So let us open the virtual machine. You can see Ubuntu 15.10 and let me log in with my password. So you can find all these steps which I have written over here. So all these steps which I am mentioning and commanding over here on my terminal will be available downstairs at the video below so that you will find no problem in installing Zencart after watching this video and even using these type of nodes on your own server. So let us first of all log in with the root by giving the command su space minus and let me give the password. So now you can see that the root has logged in. Now the first uh, second step which we have to do is the most important step is to update the system. So the command is is apt hyphen get update so it is very important so that latest repositories can be there and after that we have to install the lamp stack either you can issue this big command in which it contains apache web server maria db server some library files and php or either you can just take apt hyphen get install lamp hyphen server that is with some uh, uh, shift six with that uh, special symbol it will be installed so i will be using this part everything over there so let me copy this and let me paste over here. So let me clear this and let me paste. So this particular command will be uh, installing the LAMP server on Ubuntu 15.10 which is regarded as the backbone for configuration part of Zencart. So let's press enter. So you can see that it is about to have 28 MB of archives and 180 MB of additional disk space will be used. So let's press Y and press enter. So depending on your net connection it will not be taking much time. So after that we have to start our Apache and MariaDB database. So by issuing these two commands, we will be starting and we will be enabling. So it will just take about a minute or two. So Zencart entire installation and configuration will be taking a time up to 17 to 25 minutes. Depending on your good connection speed, it can even be low, but of your bad connection speed, it can even extend to 40 minutes or maybe 50 minutes. So you can see that the MariaDB server is being downloaded with the latest version. And I recommend that to use only PHP version 5, not use PHP version 7 because it will give some issues over there. So you can see that almost it has downloaded. Yes. 
So it has taken about one minute to download and now it will be processing the triggers and it will be installing, configuring as well as enabling. So it will take some time. So it is unpacking some library files. So MariaDB server is being uh, unpacked. And now it is installing MariaDB server that is version 10. And now it is unpacking library files and PHP. So if you want to install any other content management system, whether it is Zencart, whether it is OpenCart, whether it is Drupal, whether it is Joomla, Cake PHP, everything requires the LAMP stack. So the same steps you can take in any of the content management system, I have already covered in Arma every video, which I have developed on my YouTube channel. So now it is starting up the process that is MySQL D so that we can have the secure installation. So now it is invoking some PHP module 5 on Apache web server so that they can be tightly integrated and now it is done. So let us clear and now let us start the Apache SQL server and MySQL server. So it has been started and now let us enable Apache 2 and MySQL. Let us copy this command and let us paste it. So it is enabled. Okay. So now let us type this command MySQL underscore secure underscore installation. So enter the current password of the root. So let us press enter. So let the root password. So press Y. So let me set the password. So remove anonymous user, press Y, disallowed root user, press Y, remove test database, press Y and press Y for removing privilege tables also. So now what we have to do is to create the Zencard database which is the backend. So by issuing this command, MySQL space minus U root space minus P. So let us log in and now you can see that the MariaDB has been logged in. So let us create the database by issuing this command ZenCardDB. So make it sure that when you go with the web-based installation, it should be ZenCardDB as the database. So let's press enter. And now we will create the user that is ZenCard user identified by my name that is Anand123. So this is the password. You can take your own password or maybe your strong password, but I will be using some basic password itself. So now let us grant some privileges like grant, insert, revoke, etc. And now let us flush the privileges. Let us copy this and let us paste. And now let us exit. So which means that uh, everything has been configured at the backend of the Zen card. So now what we have to do is to configure the Apache web server. So let us go with this creation of the file. Now let us go with this command. And now let us go and type this nano editor. So before that, because we need the IP address over here. So let me have the IP address of this machine. So let me also write on my copy that is 192.168, that is 117 and dot 167. So it is my IP address, which has been allocated randomly by my VMware. So this is the IP address. So now let us go to the nano editor and let us uh, do some configuration into this Zencart file. Let us paste it. So now you can see that it is containing nothing. So let us copy and paste this. Let's copy. Sorry. Let's paste. And now what we have to do is to change the IP address over here. We have to type 192.168.117.167. So now you can see that everything has been set up and under the server admin I have taken admin at the rate Ubuntu. So this is the host name, document root, server name, server allies, directory, options, allow all, error log and virtual host. So let us control X, yes and press enter. So now what we have to do is to enable the rewrite mode of the Apache. So let us copy this and let us paste it. So now what we have to do is to restart the service that is system CTL restart Apache 2. So now after this it is fully ready 
to take the command for downloading and extracting the Zen card. So let us go and move to the temporary directory, so cd slash temp, and over here we will be downloading the Zen card, which is not very heavy software, and it, I will be taking version 1.5.5, which is the latest version. I will not be taking 1.5.4. So you can see that it is resolving. So it is about a 7 MB of download, so it will not take much time depending on my internet connection. So it has been downloaded. So you can see that it has been downloaded over here. So let us unzip this by issuing this command. And now let us make one directory under this var and www. That is of Zencart. And now let us move all the files which we have extracted over here to this directory that is where slash www slash zen card so that everything gets fixed up and now what we have to do is to fix the ownerships so let us give this command and yes we are through so now what we have to do is to go to our IP address let us go to the host machine so let us type the IP address that is HTTP 192.168.117.167 So now you can see that the Zencart has been installed beautifully and here we will be starting with the configuration part of our Zencart. So what we have to do is to click over here that is this link that is click here to begin the installation. So click here. So now you can see that it is giving some system inspection errors so there is no need to worry but uh, you may have some have some information that is error or warning so there is no need to worry so you can even run the installer using HTTPS so there is no need to worry so click on continue so after that what we have to do is to agree this license box and admin server domain is already there you can even have the if you have a DNS enabled you can go for this domain also and you click on continue so now what we have to do is to go for this localhost so username that is called zen cart user which we have created and the database password that was anand123 and the database that is zen cart db so now what we have to do is to click on this that is load demo data into the database and click on next continue so it is creating the database now and now if you want to have some admin super name i just give my name and I type my name, uh, give my email ID that is anand at the rate abc.com. So I just type my email address again. And here is the admin password. So let me copy this admin password. And here is the directory. So what we have to do is to click on continue. So now you can see that the installation is completed. And now let us go to the admin backend. So please refresh the page. So we have to delete the ZC install folder. So what we have to do is to go back to this machine. We have to do CD slash var slash www slash Zencart. And now what we have to do is to type this command that is RM space RF ZC underscore install. Now let us uh, go back and let us press enter. And now you can see that it is there. So admin username, what we have to do is to type and admin password. So we have to type our old password and let me give the new password as my name and 123 Anand 123. Sorry. Three. Yes, so now you can see that I have already successfully configured and now what we have to do that is my store that is Anand computer store Anand Naya. so store country will be India and over there I just update so here is a store and I store front end over here so it will take some time to open let's wait so till it opens let us first of all go over here so configuration is over there, catalog is over there, modules, customers, local localization taxes, reports, tools. So whatever I have read out in the beginning of this video, it is already there. And here is a beautiful store which is available. So gift certificates, text examples, test 10%. So this is how we can configure Zencart on Ubuntu 15.10. 
So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install Zencart version 1.5.5 uh, e-commerce store on Ubuntu 15.10 with simple straight away commands. So do give this a shot. I hope you like this video. So do like this, do share with your friends and do give this a shot. Thank you so much for watching.